Greetings, fellow captains. I'm Dasha Perova, and first of all, I'd like to wish you all a happy and eventful 2020. Allow me to present you with the first review of this year for update 0.9.0. It features early access to British heavy cruisers, new directives, a new season of clan battles, and many other new features and improvements. The British fleet is getting reinforced. Please welcome a set of new Tier 5 to Tier 8 heavy cruisers that are arriving in early access. Hawkins, Devonshire, Surrey, and Albemarle. Their specific traits include decent armor for their ship type, excellent survivability, and powerful guns. Unlike the British light cruisers, heavy cruisers can use high explosive shells which can inflict significant amounts of damage and have decent chances of setting their target on fire. How can you obtain the latest cruisers? The answer is simple, from the British Navy tab in the armory. Two types of random bundles are set to arrive there. Imperial for doubloons, and Royal for a temporary resource, British tokens. Note that you'll always be informed what rewards await you inside. These bundles hold cruisers together with an elegant Victorian white permanent camouflage. Aside from the British cruisers, the random bundles can drop Union Jack expendable camouflages, special signals, credits, coal, and free XP. I'd like to add that you can earn the British tokens needed to open royal bundles by completing directives and daily challenges, as well as obtain them from daily shipments. With the British Ark, we've commenced the work that will allow us to introduce new unique upgrades for Tier 10 ships into the game in the future, as well as update the existing ones. We've started with changes to the mechanics of their receipt. Update 0.9.0 will be the last one in which you can obtain a combat mission for a unique upgrade. This mission can be completed throughout the entirety of 2020. Starting with update 0.9.2, unique upgrades will be available in the Armory under the Research Bureau tab. You can find detailed information about all the changes related to unique upgrades in various dedicated publications on the game's official website. Now, let's talk about the game mode in which ships with unique upgrades can be found most often. Captains, a new clan battle season called Sea of Fortune awaits you in update 0.9.0. Here are the rules. Battles will be fought in a 7 vs 7 format, playing tier 10 ships, with one battleship per team and no aircraft carriers. Apart from that, participants will have to face cyclones on the mountain range, land of fire and north maps. They operate a little differently from the kind that can be encountered in random battles. Visibility will be limited to 12 kilometers instead of 8. The cyclone will appear at a strictly defined time, and its duration will always be the same. Moreover, you'll be informed about an incoming cyclone during the battle loading period. As for the rewards of the new season, there will be no surprises. You can earn up to 11,000 of the valuable steel resource. Detailed information on the Sea of Fortune season can be found in an article on our website. In the new update, we've changed the settings for the display of additional content in battle. Now, if you install a permanent camouflage, such as a Halloween one, but disable its display in the port, you'll see the standard Type 5 camouflage instead. At the same time, the bonuses provided by the unique Halloween camouflage will remain active. Update 0.9.0 doesn't only bring changes to the display of permanent camouflages, it also brings changes to the ship's armor layout display. Now more colors are used to highlight different armor thickness, and the plating section has been divided into two parts, ship's ends and torpedo protection. This feature will allow you to study the armor system in the game even more thoroughly. In battle, this feature will help you target the most vulnerable spots of an enemy ship and better protect your own. Let's move from armor colors to the color of the surrounding world. For several updates in a row, we've been actively upgrading the lighting and graphics of the in-game maps. In update 0.9.0, we've updated Warrior's Path, Okinawa, Sea of Fortune, The Atlantic, and Trap. Additionally, the water reflections and shadows from static objects will be improved. Let's move on to other news. In this update, the Lunar New Year event awaits our players with new patches, flags, and two new ships with unique commanders. Read more about this in a dedicated article on our website. Arpeggio Takao enjoys a new permanent camouflage. I'd like to add that Takao and other Arpeggio of Blue Steel ships, together with cruisers Southern Dragon and Eastern Dragon, become premium ships in Update 0.9.0 and will bring increased credit income. The range of permanent camouflage 
camouflages available in exchange for doubloons under the exterior tab has also grown. Now, the following camouflages are available to everyone. Royal Navy for destroyers Lightning and Gallant, National for Warspite, Graf Spee and Shinonome, and last but not least, the Republic for French battleships Richelieu and Gascogne. All the details about Update 0.9.0 are available in a dedicated article on our website. My name is Dasha Perova. I wish you many victories in 2020. В обновлении 0.9.0 изменения коснулись не только постоянных камуфляжей, но и отображения схемы бронирования корабля. Схема бронирования корабля. Бронирование корабля. Стала рота. А, стопэ.